What's up guys, I'm Diamond, welcome back to the channel, man. Today, I wanna to talk about why Chris Paul is needed to win an NBA championship. So before we get into the video, I want you to go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy, Dime. Now let's go. So it recently has come out that Bradley Beal has been appointed the starting point guard for the Phoenix Suns. And we all know that Bradley Beal was traded for Chris Paul when he was dealt from Washington. Now, I'm a little concerned for the Phoenix Suns because they don't have a true point guard like Chris Paul was or Chris Paul is. Um, they all have scores from top to bottom. Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, all scores top to bottom. And I feel like I'm seeing a Brooklyn situation all over again because in Brooklyn, we had Kyrie, James Harden and Kevin Durant. Three amazing scores. James Harden was a good is a good playmaker, but at that time, it just didn't work out because we didn't play that many games together. And we didn't have that true point guard on the team. And so I'm seeing the same thing with the Phoenix Suns. It's like you have these three guys, you know, these guys who are going to get you buckets, who can give you 30 plus any given night. But who's really going to be the guy to come down and really assert his playmaking dominance? I mean, the only player I could see being their point guard is maybe somebody like Devin Booker who's been with Chris Paul the longest and has probably learned a lot about playmaking from Chris Paul. However, that's not the case and Bradley Beal is their point guard and possibly, I don't know if they're gonna make changes throughout the season or through this off season, but if they don't make changes, I do see them getting to the playoffs for sure. But do I see them going far into the NBA Finals? Probably not. So that brings me to why do I think Chris Paul is needed to win a championship? And I know it sounds crazy to, think, to, to say, that because Chris Paul has never won a championship in his career and the only time he's gotten close was with the Phoenix Suns in 2021. So why do I think Chris Paul is a, a needed to win a championship? Well, almost every team he's gone to has elevated that team in the regular season. The When he first got drafted, he elevated that team to many playoff appearances. Then he elevated the Los Angeles Clippers because then he also elevated the Houston Rockets to a 65 and 17 record in the Western Conference, the best record in the NBA, a better record than the defending champs. And they took the defending champions to seven games in the Western Conference Finals. However, Chris Paul got injured and yeah, I think there's a recurring theme in all of these is that Chris Paul either plays abysmal in the playoffs or he just gets injured like he did in the Houston series. And I think he did get injured um in the clippers or he was slightly injured in the, in that one clippers thing 2014 2015 uh, after he hit that like game winning or whatever i don't know what it was but he got injured and i that's something i read but i don't know tell me in the comments if i got that wrong he got close in uh 2017 2018 with the 60 65 and 17 houston rockets and then he went to the phoenix sun or to the uh oklahoma city thunder he elevated that team as well that team in my opinion was never supposed to make the playoffs never but they did and they got in somehow and who was on that team chris paul then chris paul parts ways with the oklahoma city thunder and he makes his way to phoenix suns where he's all for the first time in his career able to make it to the nba finals and he doesn't play that great but he plays okay and he just doesn't get the job done and I feel like the reason Chris Paul is needed to win a championship is because he's really bringing that playmaking to a team. Now, there's no other playmakers who have the IQ like Chris Paul. And Chris Paul is able to elevate teams. He he elevated the Houston Rockets to a whole nother level. He elevated the Clippers. He elevated the Oklahoma City Thunder, even though that team was never supposed to make the playoffs. He was able to bring attention to players like Lou Dort, Shea Gilgis Alexander. He was able to elevate those players and make them better and get them and, and set the bar higher for them. He was also able to do that for the um, New Orleans Hornets, whatever that team was, New Orleans Hornets. He was able to elevate and bring another tenacity to the team. Now, the team wasn't built that great, but he was able to bring that to that team. And I feel like now that the Phoenix Suns do not have somebody like Chris Paul on the team, even though they have not had much playoff success in getting to the NBA Finals and winning series, I feel like with Kevin Durant and Devin Booker, with Chris Paul, that team with a full season together 
would have been unstoppable. Now, I'm not trying to knock Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal is an amazing NBA player, and I feel like he should have been out of Washington a long, long time ago. But on him on a team like the Phoenix Suns, I don't feel like it was the best thing because I feel like it was just a way to get Bradley Beal out of Washington. Bradley Beal just wanted to get out of Washington, and they took the best deal that came to them. So I don't know. Maybe we're going to see something crazy in the offseason because I think they just traded campaign, even though campaign, the Phoenix Suns just traded campaign, their backup point guard, even though campaign's not necessarily known for his playmaking ability. I mean, hey, you know, have him come off the bench and maybe run the offense a little bit, you know, but hey, who knows? Who knows? I mean, the season hasn't even started yet. The offseason hasn't even ended and trades and signings and all that stuff is still going on. So I don't know. Chris Paul is needed because he is able to elevate team to another level. I mean, we saw it firsthand with the New Orleans Hornets, the Clippers, the Houston Rockets, especially because I feel like him being on a team with James Harden was James Harden's last chance to win a championship. If you have not seen that video I made, why James Harden will not win a championship, go watch that. It's somewhere up there. But yeah, man, I don't know. He was able to elevate the Oklahoma City Thunder. When that team wasn't even supposed to make the playoffs. He elevated players like Lou Dort. And then when he left, Lou Dort kind of fell off. He was able to elevate Shea Gilders Alexander. Even though Shea Gilders Alexander didn't fall off, I mean, he was still able to elevate that player because he gave him more IQ. He was able to teach those young guys. And with the Phoenix Suns, he was able to get to the NBA Finals for the first time in his career, but things fell apart and they weren't able to get the job done. And now he's on the the Golden State Warriors and I am in my opinion in my opinion that's a scary team that team is scary they have a lot of pieces a lot of pieces for that championship and I'm not going to be surprised if the Warriors even if the Warriors make it to the finals I'm going to be like yeah they have Chris Paul on their team because Chris Paul with the right pieces around him is able to elevate a team to another stratosphere so guys tell me in the comments do you think Chris Paul is needed for an NBA team to win a championship? And if so, should he have been traded from the Phoenix Suns with that roster already there? Now, with that being said, I want you guys to go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Join the ride. Be with your boy Dime. Now, God bless. Peace out. 100. Bow. Ha ha. Yes, sir.